Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about another algorithm we are having in the classification category. It's called random forest. So what is a random forest? So random forest, we can say in simpler way that it's just an extension of the decision tree. If we combine multiple decision tree together, it become a random forest. So let's get started. In this uh, random forest, the very first uh, thing we have to understand the concept is ensemble learning. What is ensemble learning? So ensemble learning is a learning when you take multiple machine learning algorithms and you put them together to create one bigger machine learning algorithm it's called ensemble learning and the final one the output that that will be getting the final algorithm that you will be getting after putting all algorithms together it will be using the uh, it will be using leveraging many different machine learning algorithms. it means they will be taking advantage they will be taking advantage of multiple algorithms together. So it's a kind of taking benefit out of multiple algorithms. So in the case of this random forest, the random forest method will be combining a multiple or lot of decision trees, right? So that's why it's, it, it's, it's called as a forest. Means if we have one tree, it is a simple tree. But if we combine multiple trees together, it become a forest. So this, that's why it's called random forest. So why it's called random? Let's get discuss that point as well. So what are the steps available? The why it is called random, this is the point. So first of all, the step one is, Pick, pick up, pick at the uh, pick random k data point from a training set. Instead of considering all the observation, you just have to pick some random k data points. Second step is to build the decision tree associated to those k points. And then step three, choose the number entry. In this case, we'll be using a in our R studio, we, we're going to use the uh, uh, function called random forest in which we have to specify the number of trees that we want. So we have to choose the number and tree of trees that you want to build and repeat steps one and two. And last step is to for a new data point, make make each one of your entry predicts the category to which the data point belongs and assign the new data point to the category that wins the majority vote. So what it means, let's discuss in a more easy way. So basically you start off with one tree and then you build another tree, another tree, another tree and each one of those trees being built on a randomly selected subset from your data. It means instead of taking complete data, we'll be taking a some part of it randomly. It's just like a subsetting that we do in the R also. We do the subsetting in the same way. We have to just select the uh, some part of it, not the entire data points, right? That's also random. And even though each of these trees might not be ideal overall, on average, they can perform very well. It's kind of leveraging the power of crowd, so, so to speak, and sort of just relying on one tree. It means here we just, take, because as I've already told you, we are collecting multiple trees together. So obviously we are taking the advantage or the power of the crowd. Crowd means we have a majority available now and uh, instead of relying on a one tree, this is the point, right? So it's checking uh, what all trees are going to say and then just taking the majority vote and then deciding the classification based on that. So this is the complete story of the random forest. So in a simpler words, I can say random forest is just an extension of the decision tree in which we just to collect multiple trees together and then uh, uh, let, let, let that algorithm work on some random data points to get the answer, to get the prediction, right? I hope you must have understood from this short little video what's the meaning of random forest. In next video, I'm going to show you how we can implement the same in R Studio. So thanks for watching guys. See you next video.